a story we've been following in Montgomery County. A mother is now charged with first degree murder in the death of her 11 year old son. It happened in the family's Horsham home yesterday. Police have now charged Ruth Dorenzio Whitehead. According to investigators, Whitehead told detectives she did not want her son to grow up with the family's financial struggles. Police found Whitehead's SUV in Cape May partially submerged in the ocean. She was arrested a short time later in Wildwood Crest. She will be brought back to Montgomery County to face charges. In January 1856, Margaret Garner, born a slave in Boone County, made a dramatic escape to freedom to Ohio. There's a marker in Boone County acknowledging the moment in history entitled Slave Escape. Garner killed her young daughter rather than see her return to slavery. She was haunted by that decision. The marker says this much publicized slave capture became the focus of national attention because it involved the issues of federal and state authority. This is another Black History Moments That Matter. I'm Sherlene Shanklin for WHAS 11 News. America, this is not what you think it is. So Ruth Dorenzo Whitehead say they just cannot believe she is being accused of strangling her own son. They say she loved him, and today prosecutors allege she did it because of financial issues. She did it uh, with a belt, and she strangled him to death uh, in the bed. Those chilling details are what an emotional Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele alleges Ruth Dorenzo Whitehead did to her 11-year-old son Matthew a Monday night inside their Horsham home. To think that someone is capable of um, taking a belt to their child's neck and strangling them um, is um, it makes you sick. Details in the criminal complaint released after the 50-year-old Montgomery County woman was charged this morning alleged she told authorities she strangled Matthew as he slept alone with her while her husband stayed in another room. Her motive, according to court papers, is that Matthew had been crying that day over the family's financial difficulties and she didn't want him growing up with those struggles. So she strangled him with her husband's belt while he was asleep. It's been a number of years since we've had anything of this sort. Um, and it, it takes us some time to, 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 to recover from, and that's what we're doing. It. Horsham police responded to the home on Privet Drive around 7 a.m. after Dorenzo Whitehead's husband discovered his son dead in bed and his wife in her car missing. It was found about 120 miles away a short time later in New Jersey. While the police were there, they were contacted uh, by um, Cape May uh, police uh, uh, where they had found uh, the defendant's vehicle um, actually in the water. She was not found at that point. A little after eight, a Wildwood Press police officer spotted her walking down the road in black tattered pajamas, messy hair, and looking confused as to where she was going. Court documents allege that once the officer stopped her, she told him, I know what I did. She was then taken into custody without incident. Authorities say they found that belt inside the SUV. Now, she is expected to be extradited back to Pennsylvania, but at last check, she was still in Cape May County. We're live in Norristown. I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News. Determined to not return to slavery, Margaret decided to take the lives of herself and her children. When the marshals found Margaret in a back room, she had slit her two-year-old daughter's throat with a butcher knife, killing her. The other children lay on the floor wounded but still alive the garners were taken into custody and tried america this is not what you think it is story here at 10 o'clock now a mother now being questioned after her son was found dead in a montgomery county home and her suv found partially submerged off the coast of cape may in new jersey kelly rule live in horsham with the latest well, Jason, the DA's office did not charge anyone today, but they say an autopsy will happen tomorrow morning, which should give them a clear picture of what happened here. But neighbors say the family lived at the home for years. They're a pleasant family, and they were certainly shocked and disturbed to hear about this. A horrifying discovery at this Horsham home early this morning on Privet Road. The Montgomery County DA's office says police were called by an 11 year old boy's father just after 7 a.m. saying he found his son dead in his master bedroom where he had spent the night with his mother who was missing. He told police that when he woke up he noticed the bedroom door was locked and his wife's black Toyota Highlander was missing from the garage. 
While inside the family home, Cape May, New Jersey police alerted investigators that they found the SUV partially submerged in the ocean at the Cove Beach just off of Beach Avenue in Cape May. Cape May's city manager tells Fox 29 a passerby saw the car around 3.30 in the morning. The boy's mother was then found alive by Wildwood Crest police. Tragic. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't even be happening. The kid didn't even get to live yet. Absolutely horrific. It's a tragedy. Um, very sad and heartbreaking. A family member of the boy's mother told Fox 29 in a written message that she is nurturing and loving and loved all children in the family, including her nieces and nephews, adding she's, quote, pure heart. Neighbors and longtime Horsham residents are horrified. Beautiful community. We don't have things like this go on here. So it's shocking to hear. Now, again, the DA's office says detectives did question the boy's mother, but so far they have not charged anyone. Again, Sheba, we could learn more tomorrow morning after they get the results from that autopsy back. All right, Kelly Rule, thank you. Greater than that of her owners, and she struggled with gains in that uh, cabin, the tight cabin, over maternal or parental authority. So it was a really interesting exchange. When asked why she killed her child, she proclaimed, quote, it was my own, given me of God to do the best a mother could on its own behalf. I've done the best I could. I would have done more and better for the rest. I knew it was better for them to go home to God than back to slavery. I did the best I could. America, this is not what you think it is. On the opposite bank, they made their way to the home of Margaret's cousin, Elijah Kite, a freedman who was once enslaved in Boone County. They would rest there, then continue toward freedom. Archibald and several deputy marshals were in pursuit and soon surrounded the cabin. An intense fight followed. As the men forced their way in, Margaret made the desperate decision that her children would not be returned to enslavement alive. She cut the throat of her two-year-old daughter, Mary, killing her. She attempted to take the lives of the other three children, but her captors intervened. The freedom seekers were arrested and taken into custody. Day afternoon, and we begin with breaking news. A Montgomery County mother is now charged with murdering her 11 year old son. The district attorney's office says 50 year old Ruth DiRienzo Whitehead of Horsham faces first degree murder charges in the death of Matthew Whitehead. Now, police were called out to the family's home in the 500 block of Privet Road just after 7 yesterday morning. Authorities say the 11 year old's father found the boy dead. Investigators say D. Rienzo White had strangled her son with a belt after he went to sleep around 930 Monday night. Court documents indicate the family was going through financial difficulty and she told investigators she strangled her son because she didn't want him to grow up with these struggles. Sugar cookie, man, this is crazy. She then drove the family's SUV into the ocean in Cape May, New Jersey. The mother was then taken into custody in Wildwood Crest. DiRienzo Whitehead is being held now in Cape May County. She's awaiting extradition back to Montgomery County. We'll continue to follow the story throughout the day right here. The trial drew attention from across the country and overseas. For supporters of slavery, Margaret's actions were interpreted as barbaric. For abolitionists, slavery's cruelty was laid bare for public view. Margaret was living proof of the lengths to which an enslaved mother would go to spare her children the same fate she had suffered 